Hey guys, this is Nick, and this is Nick's Collectibles. Before we get started, I'd like to take a brief moment to ask you that if you like this video, please give it a like. While you're there, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell. That way you don't miss any future content. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. Today we have NECA's Ultimate Stripe from the first Gremlins movie. You can see by looking at the box, they've depicted the signature poster look from the movie itself. The box itself opens up, giving you a window in which to look over the figure. And from here, you can see he has a signature chainsaw and saw blade from the movie, as well as a skateboard depicting a scene from the movie where he was in a store skateboarding around with some snacks. These are great additions, and I think they're really going to make the figure something special. So let's get him out of the box. As we get him out of the box, you can see that he's essentially the ultimate gremlin mold, like many of the others in this line. Save Stripe's signature head sculpt, along with the streak white hair cascading down his back in its signature mohawk style. If you're familiar with the ultimate gremlins line itself, you'll already be pretty aware of how this mold moves. For those of you who aren't, let's get into that. The arms will bend at the elbow up and down pretty easily, and his wrists will move, but he has no real finger articulation. They also move out to about 90 degrees, and they rotate a full 360. Pretty standard, but nice nonetheless. He can also move at the waist, side to side, and a bit up and down, giving him a slight ab crunch, which is also nice. His legs will move up and down as well, as well as side to side, but they won't move back, which limits his range of motion. It's pretty common in this line, and it sounds bad, but it really doesn't hurt the figure's posability at all, so it's not that big of a deal in all honesty. He also has some articulation in the ankle to give him a bit more stability, but only front to back. There's no side-to-side -side motion at all. You can also note that his feet are molded and have a padded texture, meaning they're not flat. This is consistent across the line and hurts the stability of standing them a bit, for that reason, I recommend getting one of NECA's 6 inch stands to help out with the stability a bit. You can find them online pretty easily, and they're not that expensive. If we move up to his head, you can see that it moves side to side, and the neck moves up and down a bit. They're a bit stiff overall, but if you work with it a bit, it'll loosen up. The ears also move up and down, and rotate. This coupled with his mouth opening and closing, give him quite a bit of range for expression. Now that you know the range of motion on the mold, let's go ahead and take a look at the sculpt and the paint job. I have to say this is always my favorite part of this line. I love this mold. NECA has knocked the gremlin straight up out of the park when it comes to sculpting. You can see the bumpy texturing on the skin, along with the almost plating on the legs, shoulder, and back. They also do some great paint applications with the tan and the brown shadings, giving it more of a dynamic look. Also, with the green and the glossy finish on the rest of the skin, it gives it that look of almost being a bit slimy. It really makes the figure look a lot more menacing. Now that we've gone over the figure, let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that come with this guy, because they're awesome. First up, we have the saw blade. Like the, just like the ones you used to throw a Billy in the movie. It's a pretty standard gray with a slight notch on the side. Mine looks like one of the tips broke on it, but it's not bad enough to notice, and... Honestly, the way this fits in his hand is great. It, it does not look or seem like it's going to stay there, but it does. It stays in his hand really, really well, and that makes me very happy. The next one up is the skateboard. Now, I think this thing looks great. Uh, it doesn't roll very well, but it has a nice tacky texture on the top, a lot like a skateboard would, and the underside has some nice red translucent wheels, and a good amount of detail is done to make sure that the board looks like it's wood, and it even has really good details on the shock system. Overall, I think this piece looks fantastic. Now, now we get to my favorite accessory, the chainsaw. This thing looks great. It has so much personality and detail that it's almost hard to know where to start. From the branding name on the casing being movie accurate, to little touches on the blade. The Power Cutter 200-14 is exactly from the movie. To the fun little details like Serious Business Dave on it as well. They even went to the trouble to mold out the bottom guard and the hand guard. Even the engine fan on the other side and the power cord on the back has been made. I have to admit, this is what sold me on this character the most and I was not disappointed in the least. It looks great. It's fun to just look at and it fits in his hands really well making him look truly terrifying. 
In the end, I would have to say that this is another win for NECA in this line. Everything about him screams stripe. He has great accessories to enhance the experience of the figure, and the price point on the figure is phenomenal. If you were on the fence about this guy, I'd have to say that go ahead and pick him up. He's fun to play with, he has all these fun add-ons, and he looks great up on a shelf or even in a diorama with other figures like him. I wouldn't hesitate to pick him up. I think he looks fantastic. And if you're a fan of Gremlins, you owe it to yourself to go ahead and pick this guy up. Until next time, guys, I'm going to go ahead and call it here. Thank you for watching. I'm going to put some links to some other um, views down below, which are probably already there, and a subscribe button as well. Go ahead and check some of those out. And if you like what you've seen, go ahead and subscribe once again. And thanks again for watching, guys. I had a blast, and hopefully you did too. Till next time, I'm out.